Carly. Yes, honey. Out running errands. I had to hi Tracy. Um, I had to take the boy to the doctor this morning. And then I went and got him some to eat. He wanted some McDonald's. Hey Nat. So we ran and got him some. I dropped him off. And then I had to come over here to the Dollar General and get the little kitty cat treats. And now I didn't want McDonald's. So now I'm going to go to pick up my lunch at Subway. I'm doing well. How are y'all? Is everybody okay? It's Monday all over again. One more Monday closer to retirement. For those who are lucky enough to get to retire. <laughs> what? Well, hey, Sincere. Welcome. Don't expect anything fancy. Mm. Ooh, Lisa, it sounds good. Because I'm just not a fancy person and I don't have a fancy uh, YouTube channel. <laughs> it's very, um, honey. Look. She is playing way too much. I mean, seriously. And that little snippet that I put on Twitter this morning about how um, she has intel and at the anti-KJ group is falling apart and she said and I'm here for it see it's a game it's a game she's playing so but she ought to know though that it's not going to work out well for her. But I was like, this morning, Nat will tell you, because I told Nat, look, we everything just needs to be shut down. Just shut it down. Lock it down. Kick people out that you don't know for sure, you know, um, and even some of those that you do know. Kick them out shut it down but Nat set me she got me back on track <laughs> she's like it's gonna be all right now what it say I don't know that I saw it let me because it's not time yet for me to get it let me see what time it is no it'll ever be like that I don't know I have no idea <laughs> honestly like it's one of those questions that you are just really kind of stumped on because I don't know what's gonna happen to I don't know I think eventually when this kind of dies out um, but, you know, with her, it's always going to be something. Always. I don't know when things will ever really die out, you know? I just, I just don't know. I don't know anything about Sophie except for what I am seeing um, online. Um, it's kind of hard for me to imagine that he would just take her and run with her like that. Um, and risk, of course, losing her. Um, going to jail 
so I'm just wondering, is there a mix up or what? I don't know. KJ, again, she's, of course, she said that somebody asked her if she would put out information about Sophie on her channel because she's got a larger platform. And, of course, she keeps doing stuff. And I just think that it's, it's, it's just another money maker. She's profiting off of it. I don't know, um, Sincere, I don't know, I mean, ever since I've been around, there have always been issues around KJ. There was always um, kind of a, a two sides, but I think for the most part, I kind of feel like everybody kind of got along, but there was division then so this has been going on for a long time and it does revolve around her and she said in her live that you know this person who she didn't want to name um, has you know, destroyed friendships or, or connections. And she brought up Leslie and she said, um, Sherelle and, and I'm like, are you kidding? You are actually going to blame someone else for that? What? No, no preacher boy. No, you did this, Katie. You did it. This is not because of, you know, Steve or Uni or Leslie. You destroyed the relationships. So all this nonsense that she's coming up with now, that's, it's stupid. Steve had nothing. Nat is the one who said, or Little Miss Noble, whichever one, they're the ones who, I think it was Nat who reached out to Preacher Boy, and she knows that. So why is she blaming Steve or Tina or anybody else? What? Yes, you're right, Nat. Everybody has a right to their opinion. She is a public figure, so people have the right to say what they want to say about her. And I'm here for it. How about that, KJ? I'm here for it. She said I was bitter. What am I bitter about? Pizza? Because my kid wants pizza all the time. A little bit better. A little bit better about the public's chicken also. I need help. Mm -hmm. I think everybody needs help. So. Whatever. I mean. She's. She's. It's just, it, it's just a mess. And she is living for it. Yes. That, yeah, maybe that's what it, I'm just annoyed. Hi, Valerie. No, I didn't. I was like, what is she? She didn't like that I had super chatted Roadhog and you know talked about how she said she didn't say no I don't, you know no stop you know get off me leave my house no she said I don't want to do this anymore I'm 
okay? I mean, I don't want to, you know, I don't, her story is her story. And to me, that's what it is. Um, even, I mean, you can look back at her story about the rapper and how this rapper wrote a song about her. A song that he didn't even write, okay? No. I don't think anybody should, if anybody has been, um, maybe so, I don't know, I don't know why she would be, but, um, if, if anybody has been essayed or, a, you know, hurt, physically hurt or emotionally or whatever, by anybody it's not okay it's just it's not okay and we don't support it we are all about victims um the problem here is that we don't some of us i guess i don't want to say everybody but there are those of us who question whether or not she's really a victim or if she just needed to become part of Me Too, the Me Too movement. I don't know. She, she's just always got to be in something. She always has to make the story about her. That's true, though. Sincere, that's true. Unless you pay someone attention, they'll get the message. You could care less. And they'll have say about they'll have less to say about you, in my opinion. I think it's what you to say. I agree. Yes. Yes. If we just stop talking about her. It would drive her it would drive her mad. It really would. Even though she's playing this role of I just want everybody to get along and all of this. Katie, stop it. Just stop it. You would have you would have nothing to talk about. You would have nothing if everybody got along. If everybody just did their own thing, you couldn't handle it. Gotcha. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Yes, she does. Yes, she does. She, yes. She sure does love to talk about herself. It makes me sick to watch her to speak highly of Jill now when it wasn't that long ago she was talking so bad about her. Yeah, unfortunately, um, she makes, right, right, Valerie, right, she makes, um, do my, my lunch is done, um, she makes it difficult for people not to give her the attention that she's seeking because of the allegations and whatnot that she um, puts on people, what she says about people. And so people are going to respond to it like Erin. You know, so... Why do people have to take up... This is the second place I've been where people take up two parking spots. Are you kidding? I 
hate that. That makes me bitter. <laughs> Look at this bag full of just freaking cat treats. But they ran out. All right, you guys want to hang on? Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I'll be right. I'll be right back. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was trying to find out because, you know, they're saying that like this Subway's getting a makeover, like new sandwiches and all of that. And I was trying to find out 
like what was going to be happening, but the people who own this subway, they are, um, I don't know what they are. Uh, Indian, like, or Pakistan. I don't know. But, so they're English. It's hard for me to understand sometimes what they're saying. So, but I was really trying hard. But he was talking about, like, um, you know, like the roast beef is coming back. The chicken is leaving. Um, there's going to be, like, more. What did he say it was? It was like a turkey, bacon, and avocado. Uh, anyways, so he was trying to. So, yeah. Yeah, he said his whole board will be changing. I'm like, ah, oh, because I get a little nervous when they say, you know, everything's changing. I'm like, uh, you don't have my sandwich no more? <laughs> so, we'll just see. I might have to find a new favorite. I don't like bacon on sandwiches, really. I don't, I'm not a bacon person. I'll eat it, but I'm not like, I don't want it on my sandwich. And I don't want it on my hamburger. And I don't want it on my pizza. <laughs> I'll just throw that in there. So anyway, so while I was at the Dollar General, I don't really know what all the message said because I just glanced at it, but I did get a message that said, okay, hear me out from Cartman. Hear me out. What would you say if I told you that I was going to have a girl um, come and stay through Christmas? I just clicked off the button. Why do you keep doing this? He, he's done this like three times telling me about, you know, how somebody's going to come and stay. No, they're not. No, they're not. No, they're not. They ain't having it. Mm -mm. Not having it. Sorry, guys. Got to pull you off of there. So, mm -hmm. there will be no girls staying here. Not. Uh-oh. Somebody's car is getting towed. Anyway, once I get up here, I'll be able to, um, boom. So, one of my neighbors is getting mad. Oh, there's the Amazon guy. I got here just in time for that. So one of my neighbors is getting mad that I am blocking where I park. They're getting upset about it. I don't care. Hold on, I'll be right back. I gotta move where I my cones. Oh my God, there's like bees or wasps or something diving at my head. 
Jeez Louise. Stop it. Oh. All right, let's see what you guys have been talking about. Let me see. Let me scroll back up here. Is Hoot in here? Hi, Hoot! I don't know how anybody does five hours. I don't know how anybody does three hours, two hours. I can't watch somebody for that long. Ah. Oh took three spots with her minivan that mm -mm. <laughs> ah, net net shame on you zip ties or one for You know you're a professional victim when you insert yourself, even in the way Minnesota police police black individuals. <laughs> Valerie. <laughs> we will see her son graduate and still be here talking about her. No. I hope to God not. Yeah. I agree. Oops, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. I was trying to see. Rhiannon? Is it Rhiannon? Rhiannon? Is, would that be, is that proper, is that how you say it? Yeah, never. She'll never own anything that she does. Yeah, what are y'all doing today? <laughs> uh, oh! Ooh, I wish I was going to the chiropractor. Mm. <laughs> uh, ten four, we got an eagle escaping. That's hilarious. <gasps> going to Hobby Lobby. Has it got? to point when people are obsessed with talking about her. I don't... Hi, Meow Now. I don't know if people are obsessed, but... Because I, I would really rather not, but... I mean... I don't know that anybody's thinking about her all day, every day. <laughs> I'm sorry, Nat. No bacon. Um. Hi, Miss June. The thing is, is that all the information that she was, you know, bragging about, oh, I was right about the dad the whole time. And I was, you know, she's give, she got that information from his, Michael's, what is that, Court? is it Courtney, who he was married to? Well, if they split up, of course she's going to say bad stuff about him. She's going to say shit. So, but it doesn't make what she's saying fact. It just makes her possibly bitter. So,
I have no idea what you need, what he, I don't even know. I would be in bed too, honey. That's pretty much what I did on Saturday. I spent a lot of time in bed on Saturday. I just didn't even want to get up. Um. Hi, Amanda. Oh. Good golly. I, I, yeah. Thank you for being a nurse and doing what you do. I tried to comment on Muni's live on Twitter and he thought she was a sock and blocked her. She was so butthurt. When who? When she... Who is she? Katie? Yeah, he goes hard after uh, Roadhog goes hard. I think that, I mean, it almost seems like Uni is supporting Katie and I don't know why she posts stuff. I don't know. Oh, okay. Yep. Karma, I, I, yeah. Yeah. Well, sincere, here's the thing. Um, I think the reason that so many people have, um, are in this anti-KJ group, community, whatever you want to call it, um, the reason that people have a problem with her is because she creates so much drama. And she has lied so much in her storytelling as far as you know re um i don't want to say reporting but you know when she's on here talking about teen mom stuff um talking about you know some of the girls um the way that she mocks them and makes fun of them it just it was it's just such a turn off and then she denies even though it's right there she denies doing it and it's like what the hell is wrong with you like yeah you did say this and yeah you did do this but and she has hurt so many people So many people. So I think if she could get to a place where she really, really understands what she's done and what, you know, what she's doing, the way that she treats um, people, um, I think then, sorry guys, sorry. Sorry. I think then maybe. But all of any apology she's ever getting has tried to give. It has been with. I'm sorry you feel. I'm sorry if you think. It's never been about. You know what? I was a schmuck. And I shouldn't have said that. And I shouldn't have done that. And I'm going to do better. But she never does better. She never tries to do better. 
she's so hypocritical, it's not even funny. You know, yesterday morning she posted um, the picture, the video of her pool. She was thanking, not tweeted, she put it on her Instagram. And she was thanking people for telling her about the sand pump or what have you. And that since her son um, is, his pain broke two days ago, she said. Um... Where'd the Amazon person go? They didn't drop off my stuff. Um, that they were they were gonna have a pool day, right? And the last time I counted, she had like I don't know five Instagram posts, and like at that time, and that was still early, like fifteen or sixteen uh, Twitter posts. She later went on, as we know, and did um, a video, a YouTube video. I mean, she was busy, and so pool day, what did, what, when? When? She has used her child in some of the most god-awful ways. It's... Yeah. Yeah, it's not just that. It's just a lot of people. Just just type in her name on YouTube and look at all the people. Look at the videos. <laughs> Net. Net. Oh my god. You're moving out before Christmas, son. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, Kyles. Oh, they were chatting. Yeah, they're going to, yeah, they'll be made up in no time. And then they will fall out again. How cute. Because she needs Uni's people. That's what this is about. Katie, you can't do it on your own? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'll have to look. That's hilarious. There goes the Emma. Dude! Maybe another one's gonna come by. Yeah. You know, there's all the times when she is yelling at her subscribers and being really, really mean. I'm about to go in there and beat that cat's butt. Wait a minute, I'm so sorry. I just... Tito is in the front window chewing on the mini blind string thing. He can see me, and he does stuff like this when he wants to get my attention, because then he knows that I will come after him. You better quit it. You better quit. 
He's a you know, bad thing. Anyways, I forgot Tito. Tito's a mess, honey. The button teaching thing has gone fine. He knows. He he uses his buttons. They did. They came after you. You know, I, ever since, I haven't been back since, um, well, since, uh, you know, as far as really sitting in on, uh, uni's lives and stuff since that happened where KJ doxed Creepshow and, you know, Lori Ann was around <laughs> and she would get you if you made comments and you were an anti Katie person. Um, but Lori Ann, I guess, I don't know, is she gone for good or is she under a different account now? Or does anybody know? Yes, you know, whatever. I know, I know it gets tiring and, you know, people are, people are tired of the nonsense. Her subs are, are checking out because they are tired of, they're like, you know, this is, this is not being professional um because you keep talking about this stuff and you know her channel is her business I feel the same way Tracy I feel the same way especially when he gets up to play him with be busy or whatever I can't that is so image what are you doing like, what are you doing? Stop that. If she would stick to just her perspective on things, when she, you know, that's how I started out. I was uh, watching her when uh, she was doing, when I first started, because she... I felt like she gave good information on Teen Mom. But then I started hearing her make fun of people and mock people. And I was like, oh, I'm not, uh, 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 uh. I don't like that. This is supposed to be, and she's got a big channel. It's her livelihood. And yet it's just. Hi, Jen. So. I don't know. I mean, everybody's. I get you, Sincere. I understand it. I do. I do. People are tired of it. Yeah, that's. Yes. Who said that? Kyle's goldfish, yes. It is. It's too much. It is too much noise. It's too much. Just, it's, yeah. Of course she drinks. That's what her little cup is. That little... Now my child is looking at me. He, when 
he got dressed to go to the doctor and he had on a black shirt like a t-shirt that had his school name on it and some black shorts that are actually mine um and he had on black socks and his puma slides and he's like do i look okay and i was just like out of the corner of my eye i was like oh my god he looked like this massive football player I'm like you are like a brute like so he's five seven which is as tall as I am and of course, well, of course he's heavier than I am but um, yeah and he would not I kept trying to get him I'm like please pull your hair back into like a, a a ponytail he wouldn't do it he would not do it that's true that's true when it comes to lb yeah, yes really Tracy wow yeah and he said the doctor said he was fine we talked about some of the stuff that you know that the um, some of his other you know issues and whatnot and of course he asked about COVID he asked him have you been vaccinated and he said no and then he looked at me and said, have you been vaccinated? I'm like, no. <laughs> but then he started talking about this second wave that's coming through. And <sighs> so, yeah. Yeah. I believe that Amy will... Something will happen there. Something will happen. Sincere, you said, I wouldn't watch because heard too many not good things when come to that person. I, I don't know if you're talking about Unirock um, there, but you know what? You should be the judge for yourself. Just you try it and see if you might he might be entertaining to you he might not but don't go off of what other people said you just be your own judge you decide <laughs> unit benedict arnold shirt <laughs> That's hilarious. I know. Um, well, Thank you, Sincere. I try to keep, I mean, you know, everybody that typically that comes and, and participates in um, in my live chats and stuff, they're very kind. Um, nobody has, nobody's been ugly. Nobody's been rude to anyone. So everybody's been, it's, it's a good place. And we talk about not just KJ. We talk about my bad cats, my bad child, and my neighbor right there who um, I might have to have a talk with.
Thank you, Sincere. Thank you, Angela. My daughter is a nurse, and she was not forced. Oh, wow. Wow. I don't know. He had to get uh, two shots. He had to get um, his HPV booster or whatever. No, I have no, 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 no dogs. No. Mm -mm. Um. No. No. <laughs> no. My cats um, are more than enough. I can't imagine having a dog also. And he had to get a meningitis. When did that? I don't even remember him getting a shot <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I'm a cat queen, but I do love my cats, though. Angela, that's so sweet. I'm, I'm, I'm glad that you take care of your dad. But some people just... <laughs> Tracy stuff. Some people um, are just, just love dogs, and I think that that's so cool. Like, my child has asked for a dog since forever, um, and uh, no, and because I knew he wouldn't really take care of it, and I would end up being the one, and I didn't want to be the one. And so then he brought home a kitten, um... And who, because he wanted to have his own little cat. And guess what? He doesn't do anything for that cat. Okay? So, no, he ain't getting a dog. No dogs. They're a lot of work. You got to, you have to take them out. They don't use a litter box. So, no. Mm -mm. Do I? Oh, <laughs> Oh, at, okay. To get an experimental vaccine. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm live right now. So what's up? Oh, you were answering games, so I thought something was wrong. No, nothing's wrong. All right. Can you take these and put them in the fridge for me, though? Yeah. Is any mine? No, they ain't yours. I bought you other food. Here. You can have some cookies, though. All right. Hold on, give me one, though. want to see the people? You want to say hi to the people? Okay. You don't want them to see you? No? Okay. Well. Mm -hmm. So that cookie is mine that I tore a piece off of, okay? okay? Don't eat all of them. Do not eat all of them. Uh-oh. <laughs> of course. Of course. That's really the only reason I buy cookies at Subway is for him. <laughs> I didn't get him a sub. No. Mm -mm. Uh-uh. Because I had already been to um, 
McDonald's for him. Mm-mm. So he didn't get a sub. Their cookies are good. You know, this, um... The second round of COVID, you know, this new strain or whatever. I don't know. No, he do What are you talking about? Are you... Who are you talking about? Because I know you ain't talking about Cartman, honey. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't turned my oven on in so long, y'all. You just, you, you just don't know. <laughs> So, Delta variant, that's, yeah. Wait a minute. Wow, but they're still opening everything up, huh? I don't know. I kind of expect... They said, um... They said that Tennessee, on the news the other day, now whether it's true or not, I don't know, but they said um, that we, in, in, in our country, have the lowest number, or I guess you could say the highest number of unemployment evacuated of not evacuated i said that earlier too vaccinated people here are not getting vaccinated like they are in other states The doctor today brought up the fact that people who have had COVID are still dealing with um, some of the, the effects of it. Here it is, you know, a year later, a year and a half later, whatever. Um, they're still dealing with it. So, whereas if you get vaccinated, um, you know, you may get a little sick or whatever in the beginning, or you may not feel well, but then it's, it goes away. But, I don't know. My son... Um, uh, one of my sons, when he got it, he, it took him a long time for his, um, uh, taste and smell, and I don't even know if it's come back all the way, um, I'll have to remember, try to remember to ask him, because the last time we talked about it, he said it wasn't, It wasn't all the way, you know, it was getting better, but so I don't know. Yeah. Health care in this country is Anyways, well, I'm going to go in now. We've been on for an hour, and that's a long time. So, I hate having to make people <laughs> sit. Um, okay, Moody. 
Um, thank you. You guys have a wonderful afternoon. And back to work in the morning. So, we'll be back at it. Yeah. So, anyways. Y'all have a wonderful day. A wonderful night. Wonderful whatever. <laughs> and, um... Let's see, Love Island's back on tonight, if you were watching that. So, it was good seeing you out today. Anyways, I love you, and I will talk to you guys soon. Mwah.